Hello guys, here is a quick and simple tutorial on how to move points along the curves just like in this video. Let's drop down a grid. We're gonna have two grids. Merge them together and scatter points on top of them. 10 is a good number. Uh, maybe get rid of relax iterations and give it a different seed. Perfect. Now, if we connect them using add node, it connects them uh, successively from 0 to 1 to 2, etc. That's not what we need. Uh, we have to connect them using an attribute. So let's give them an attribute, unique attribute, which is ID, which is ID, which is inherited from PTNUM, here and here. Now, when we connect using an ID attribute, everything works. Now give it, let's give it a shape. But first we have to resample our lines to give it more points. That's enough. And also give it curve view at attribute. Curve view goes from 0 to 1. So we're basically adding to the y-axis and now if we do it like this we have our shape let's say 4 let's use in different interpolation Bezier, Bezier works nice okay so and we can give it a different shape like this like this doesn't matter okay so we have our lines now we have to move uh, particles along those lines. Uh, there are two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you both. Okay. First, let's do it with carve node. We can use a wrap function. What wrap function does is, um, as you can see, in 24 frames it goes from 0 to 1 and resets. It gives us this sort of function and now if we extract points now we just have points right okay let me copy some spheres on top so you can see it better mm -hmm. okay now we can add a trail To these points we can randomize the point order and just delete the points we don't want let's say from 0 to 
20 or something like that. Okay. But they are moving uh, with the same speed. Uh, we can change that uh, by just... Um, let me see. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's say we want uh, three lines. To move with this speed and the rest of the lines to move with a different speed let's say like 48 and what we have here is this Maybe 48 is too much, maybe like 32. Voila, we have particles moving along lines. That's one way to do it. Uh, there is also a different way. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> so, okay, we're gonna use the same points, but we're gonna do it in VOPs. Let's drop down the point VOP, and we're gonna use a prim UV function. Uh, what PrimUV does is uh, it looks up a certain attribute on a given primitive using UV coordinates. Let me show you. Okay, so PrimUV, Prim attribute, PrimUV. Okay, let's plug in our first input. Uh, we want to look up position. Uh, and if we plug it right here what we have is it all collapsed in one point because we didn't give it our primitives if we give it our primitives it went uh, back to the zero why because okay first of all let me explain to you about uv attribute coordinates every primitive in houdini has intrinsic uv attributes kind of like uh, Let's say we have let's say we have a triangle. Now it has u, which is x basically, which goes from zero to one, and it has v, which also goes from zero to one. If we have a line, uh, which is also considered a primitive in Houdini, it also goes from zero to one in u, and v is zero. So with that in mind. Uh, currently we have a, a zero in our UV, that's why they are all defaulted to the zero. For example, if we give it 0 0.5, they're going to be halfway. Boom. And this is a end point. Okay, now, to move these points along, we can give it time. We can plug it in U and it's gonna go from 0 to 1 in 24 frames. But we want uh, movement to be continuous, right? So we can use a fraction node. Uh, there is no rep node, so we, we have to use a fraction. Fraction. Boom. And what it does, it uh, gives us uh, values between uh, 0 and 0.99 or something like that. So it goes like this. Continuous movement. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's add some randomness. Use a random point number. And add this to our time. 
Okay, and we have our movement, but uh, it doesn't look pretty. We have to delete all the excessive stuff. So let's do it like this. Add, uh, delete geometry, but keep the points. So we have our movement, right? Uh, there are too many points, so let's delete them. Like from 0 to 200, right? But we'll delete it on random, we'll delete random points. Boom. Yeah, kind of like this. Let's add some parameter, uh, which is going to be a speed parameter. For example, kind of like this. So they're moving slowly, right? But we need more randomness. So let's just multiply by a random point number. And voila. But some of them moving too slow, so let's fit range them. Mm -hmm. Now it works. So, yep, that's it. That's the effect. Thanks for watching.